been playing. Well, uh, yes, he has been playing in this ground for like more than 15 years now. Um, I think, yes, uh, he played extremely well to the part of the uh, the situation where we played uh, two wickets early. And uh, I think uh, he, he just uh, backed himself and uh, played uh, positively and, uh, you know, just uh, got the reward um, at the end of the day, yes. And you also been getting the Maya in front of us in the same point. How much of the same Well, we just want to, you know, uh, stuck at the crease uh, as much as, uh, as we wanted. I mean, uh, because we lost two early wickets and uh, this ball was moving a bit in the first uh, hour. So we just want to, you know, uh, just uh, looking for singles early on, just to put pressure on the bowler and uh, just to rotate the strike uh, and uh, uh, then go for shots. And uh, I think uh, we did, uh, uh, we did uh, do that, uh, but unfortunately I got out in the last row before lunch and uh, that was the bad part of it. So a plan to sort of target him as soon as he came on and the cut because we were a lot more positive towards him than any other bowler. Well, I think, uh, anyway, uh, uh, what we, the amounts of rounds we scored to him was mostly the loose ball. So I think uh, we were, we, we anyway planned to get, you know, score runs for the loose stuff because otherwise we get popped down. So I think our plan was to just to score whenever we can for the loose balls and just to rotate strike whenever you know we get a chance. Then you won't face for a one ball at, at uh, one period of time. So I think that was our plan, and uh, we went according to that. Do you see him as a danger? Uh, yeah. uh, well, he he bowls some good uh, deliveries, but uh, I feel like you know sometimes he's not that accurate so that you know we get some close deliveries so that is that is our uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's good for us because when, when we have like loose balls we can you know uh, get the pressure off uh, and you know rotate strike uh, does it also take the pressure off when my head comes in and score those two plays to get the result? definitely yes yeah did you plan to counter attack after the first two wickets fell or did that just happen Without uh, talking, did you talk with Manila about going after the bowlers when those two wickets come? Not exactly. We just wanted to, uh, you know, stay at the crease and maybe rotate the strike uh, more often. I think uh, that was our game plan from the beginning itself, uh, just to rotate the strike because we wanted to not just stuck in one in uh, for one fast bowler because otherwise we will face a lot of balls uh, to one particular bowler. So we just wanted to rotate strike, get big singles as we did today. And uh, that made us, you know, to keep them a lot of loose balls for us as well. So, for that, uh, from that we scored uh, some fours, and you know, get the, you know, we just got the pressure off from uh, them. What was the reason we had played three spinners? Yeah, I mean. Uh, even today, in the last hour, it started to spin. Uh, so I think uh, it's a good option for us uh, to have three spinners. And like our three spinners are uh, like even we have two offies, but Ajanti is a completely different bowler. So he has a lot of varieties, and I think it's a good combination that we have. What do you and some of the other younger players think? What do you feel when you see Mahela with so much hunger and desire at age 37? Well. Uh, I mean, it's a learn for us, uh, you know, uh, uh, because the way he trains and way he uh, uh, puts uh, his effort uh, when he every time he goes into bat is uh, remarkable. Even if he's, uh, he's still 37, but still uh, he wants to score runs. So that's the hunger that he has. So I think that's one thing that we as youngsters have to learn and just to, you know, be patient and just to. Uh, uh, know do what what you think is right and just go there and express yourself those are the things I think uh, as a youngster we should learn from him uh, Mah Mahela didn't have the best game in goal but you've seen him play at the SSC a lot uh, over your club career as well what goes right for him in this venue what what, what is it that uh, that 
how is it that you feel so comfortable and look so comfortable with the Greeks here? Well, I personally believe from the first first ball itself, he was more positive and he was looking for runs. So I think that was uh, I think that was one thing which I didn't see him in the ball. So he was more positive and he was looking to score runs. He was determined to get get a hundred today, and uh, that was you know he's mentally prepared to score runs. Here. So that was one one thing that I saw him when I was batting with him. How oh, well, happy were you that the captain won the toss? Major advantage about the first in here. Yeah, I mean, looking at the pitch, I think uh, if you bat on this wicket for a for, for the fourth inning, I think it will it will start to spin more, so it will be difficult for us. So I think it's a better option to bat in the first innings and you know bat in a wicket where it is new and 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 which will which ball will come onto the bat. As you know, as they progress today, we saw you know the ball is slowing down a bit, and it's hard to score runs. Even in the last session, we we didn't score much runs, but the first two sessions we we scored over 100 runs. So it was clearly an example that you know uh, the wicket is slowing down and it's hard to score runs. <laughs> ಬಲಪಡ್ತೀವಿ <laughs> ಮಹಿತಾನೆ <laughs> ಅವಶ್ಯ